In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful rustic cottage in Minecraft. We're gonna do it block by block together. Don't you go anywhere. Hi, I'm Avamance. I wanna show you how to make this awesome house, but I've noticed that many of the people watching don't have English as their first language. So we're gonna slow this one right down for everyone. The things you need for this build are 240 cobblestone blocks, 130 oak wood, Replace some of the cobblestone with stone. Replace some more of the cobblestone with stone bricks. 74 stone steps. Two glass, maybe. 36 glass panes. Andesite can replace some of the stone too. 10 spruce planks. 270 spruce steps. Three spruce slabs. 34 cobble slabs. 150 oak planks. One oak door. 16 vines, 6 glowstone, 40 white carpet, 17 red carpet, 30 chests, 10 trap chests, 1 ender chest, 1 crafting table, 9 furnaces, 16 bookshelves, 1 enchantment table which is optional, 1 anvil, 1 brewing stand, 30 ladders, 63 oak fences, 9 box of gravel, 8 stone fences, a bed, 7 torches, 12 blue orchids, 10 roses, 2 buckets of water for an infinite water source, 12 seeds, 24 trapdoors, and you'll also need a wooden hoe and a spade. Come to the corner and lay 15 cobblestone blocks in a row like this. Then turn the corner and lay another 15. Then build seven across. and nine deep. Next, place floor blocks. Leave a gap and then place three. And then finish by putting seven across in total. That's what you should have. Now you need to build up the walls another three high. Once that's finished, grab your oak wood blocks and come to the corner. If you can't work out where the corner is, go right next to the wall and stick one next to it. That will be the corner. And climb up five blocks. Go to the next corner and build up another five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And do that in every corner. Doing it on the inside corner as well. Now we're going to build in the cross beams all the way across from the fifth block at the top to the next one along in the corners. Yeah. 
we now need to separate these big long walls. So come in nine blocks from the end post and build up to the top. Remove those counting blocks completely. And remember to do that on the other wall as well. We're then gonna build in the cross struts. So as we've got some beams on the inside, so just join them up. So as we've got three squares, just like that. We're now gonna make some holes for the windows and we're not gonna do this in every single wall. Come to the middle of your wall. This will be the count number four from each end of the post and pull out a three by two hole. Fill it up with glass panes. Do this on the next wall round as well. And do this in all the wall segments except for the two in the far corner. When you come to the door opening, place a solid block at the top and an upside down set of stairs underneath it. And when you come round to the door, you've got a choice. You can either stick in glass blocks right next to the door, like this. Or if you prefer, you can come in one block and put a glass pane in the middle of those two gaps. I prefer that. We're then going to mix up the walls by replacing some of the cobble with different types of stone. We're going to be using smooth stone, stone bricks, and we're going to be using andesite. We're going to do this quite randomly, mixing the blocks up on every wall, and this gives us far more texture and much more depth. now time to start the roof so get a cobblestone step and bring it out one past the edge of the wall put an upside down one on top of it and do the same on the other side we're then going to build it up in a standard a frame inside outside inside outside till we get to the middle and then we're going to do the same on the other side When you get to the top, put a solid block in between the two at the very top and put an upside down step on the outside of that. And just repeat the process on the other side. Now trim the inside corner along the outside of the logs in spruce wood steps. Now you've got a choice. You can either do a wraparound roof by putting spruce wood steps all the way around the entirety of the outside like this. Or you can make a more interesting roof design by putting another gable end opposite one of the existing gable ends, just like this. If you place the stone brick steps one block past the upright oak wood column, you'll be in the right place.
Now use spruce wood steps along the roof so you join up the cobblestone steps. Now place cobblestone slabs right across the top ridge of the roof, sticking out one block from all of the steps. Now go inside your house and starting with the door, put oakwood planks all around the outer edge of your building. We don't need to do it on the inside because we're going to put some carpet there, but we are going to use glowstone and put the carpet on top of it. So come to the corner right in the middle and stick in a piece of glowstone. Then come to one edge and count three. And every three, put a piece of glowstone. Now grab yourself some white carpet and some red carpet and cover up the floor in whatever pattern you would like. You need a little bit of extra light inside, so on these really nice logs that are going across the inside of your roof, put a lamp right in the middle on both sides. Stick a door from the inside and put it in the gap so as it's got a nice indent when you look at it from the outside. And then we're gonna do something with these windows. We're gonna put trap doors, wooden trap doors on the side of each pane of glass. So where there's two high, we put two trap doors. Where it's only one high, we put one trap door. We're then gonna put some feet around these really nice wooden beams. So get cobblestone steps and make yourself feet around the outer sides of these upright log pillars. And then upside down spruce wood steps make for a really nice window box decoration. Get some ladders, because we've got big walls that are empty here, and from the bottom, go up three and five across. This is gonna act as a trellis for something later. Do it on both the big open walls. Now we're gonna decorate the log just a little bit more with a splash of color. Go to the middle log and put in two bits of vine on each outer edge.
then get some spruce wood stairs and place it upside down above where you've put the vines. Also, when you come around, you're gonna be putting them on the inside as well. And this acts as a really nice looking support for the entire roof. Coming inside your house, we need to block off these gable ends. Get some oak wood planks and fill in all but a small hole in the middle, just like this. Notice we're coming one block inside the cobble. Fill that up with glass. Stick a torch at the top just to give a little bit of light and then go to the next gable end and do it again. And then again on the last gable end. So this part is optional. If you want an enchanting table, the best place to do it is in the corner where we didn't put any windows. So create a row of bookshelves. Use all 16 bookshelves to create the corner. Now you're gonna have a challenge here with the enchanting table because the bookshelves won't be able to see it because of the carpet. So if you want, you can put the enchanting table on a block of wood. It still doesn't work, so you need to remove the carpet. So get the carpet out of the way and instantly you'll see, you'll get that spell effect coming across from the bookshelves to the enchanting table. You'll want to replace that dirt there with more oak wood planks. And you might want to think about what you're going to do with the rest of that carpet too. You've got to sleep somewhere, so place your bed and put some chests next to it. And then fill up your house with chests and crafting tables and furnaces the way you want it. Remember, in 113, the Update Aquatic, you can now place chests next to each other. You don't have to use trap chests. In this build, I have used trap chests because I'm doing it in 1.12. Also, make an infinite water source by placing water buckets at the end of a one by three gap. Cover up the two ends with some planks and then leave a gap and put an up, upper plank and a brewing stand on top, you can still access that water. Stick yourself an ender chest in there because that will help you when you go on your adventures. Let's work on the outside now. Stick a bucket of water underneath the column in the corner. Do yourself a little hole and put that piece of wood back. That will hide that water. Replace the dirt in that hole and then get yourself a hoe and hoe out an area of between 10 and 12 squares. Do it in whatever shape you'd like because that is where your little farm is gonna go. Get yourself some seeds and sow those seeds in that farm. The water under the log will hydrate that for you. Make yourself a path using right click on a spade and just randomly make a path shape going away from your front door. Not in too straight a line because that would look bad. Get yourself gravel and replace around the path blocks that you've created and make it just an interesting shape and texture. Now get some oak fence and line along the side, but don't make one big long fence. Break it up just a little bit because that makes it look a little bit more rustic and worn and welcoming and just a little bit more interesting. 
block off your farm as well. Then get some roses. And this is where that trellis we made earlier comes in. One block away from those ladders, put a piece of rose in front of each one. That's 10 roses in total. It looks like they're climbing up the trellis. Then get some oak fence and line above the trellis and also above the trap doors and the windows. We're going to go up on the roof now and create ourselves a chimney. Dig out the foot two by two hole that is right on the inside corner and create a square. Come down one block inside the roof as well because we're doing something on the inside in a moment. And build this two by two square up with different textures of stone. Use stone, cobblestone and stone bricks to keep the same texture that we've got on the walls of the house. Take it up as high as you want, and then when you get to the top, get yourself four stone fences and create a small square, which acts as a great chimney stack. Then come inside the house, because you've got an ugly stone square in your roof, but that's okay. On the inside corner, bring down a row of stone fences till it hits those furnaces. It will act as an excellent chimney. Now we need to decorate it. So get some blue orchids or other flowers if you'd prefer and just randomly slap those orchids around so as they look like they've naturally grown. Congratulations, you have made an awesome looking little rustic cottage for your Minecraft world. You've done amazingly, you've used lots of different techniques, there's lots of detail and it has ended up beautifully. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to hit that like button and don't forget to join my sub club and ring the notifications bell. I really, really look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye.